So I wanted to have a little talk about having your timing under control instead of control at the expense of your timing. I wanted to make this video to make a simple point. There are too many voices out there preaching that you shouldn't move forward when you hit, uh, that you should always stay back when in fact they're misinterpreting what staying back means without getting too deep into it and getting into the weeds. Transferring into the ball on time is in fact timing. A short burst of energy into the ball without leaking, of course, under control, maintaining posture uh, with your torso in the middle of your body when you hit the ball as you're striking the ball, but you're shifting into the ball on time. I'm always struck with how back in the day, without so much video analysis, hitters, they, they didn't care about how far they moved forward. They wanted to stay under control, of course, controlling their body in rotation, not leaking, all completely under control. But big league hitters have a range. What happens is the amateur hitters sometimes are peeking through the looking glass, thinking they know what they're looking at when a big league hitter hits the ball with like a six inch stride with very little movement. The youngster and the coach assumes that you should always restrict your body movement from moving forward when in fact that's not at all what's happening in the big leagues. And you can really see it with the old timers because they weren't over analyzing their swings to the point uh, to where they had always eight to 12 inch perfect strides every time. The goal is to hit the ball hard and they knew that it, there, there's there's a utility to it, like hitting a sledgehammer with an or with an axe. You're getting your weight, your force into the ball. And big leaguers today, they know that too. You just see more highlights when a hitter has his best timing, and they're not moving much. The fact of the matter is, a big leaguer has the ability to go out and get a ball from their eight to twelve inches, and, and go farther, all the way out to three and four feet out front. And they still have their 90 to 100 mile an hour bat speed. But because they're not forcing themselves to stay back, they're letting their weight freely transfer through the ball. Ultimately, the goal is timing. If you can move six inches like Barry Bonds used to, uh, because he had incredible timing, the more power to you. But as you can see, many old timers and players these days as well hit the ball on time with the short burst of energy into the ball on time. But they could be hitting the ball at any point from six inches to three feet out front. So, and that gives them a margin for error. And I'm, I'm showing you these old timers because they were less concerned with what people thought about all the video analysis. They just hit the ball with utility, like you're, like you're swinging a sledgehammer or an axe. It, they just, it was natural. They weren't so over consumed with, with their mechanics. It wasn't so complicated but they're hitting their ball with their 100 mile an hour bat speed with a semi truck and not with a motorcycle. If you're thinking overly mechanical and you're not getting your weight into the ball, you're not going to get you're not going to hit the ball. It's like hitting the ball with a motorcycle. You know, you're not you're you're not going to have your power. The focus is timing under control, not control at the expense of timing. 